Right, okay, I need... Glass. No, I've done everything. Uh, I need gold and melon. Oh, I can help you out there. Can I have some gold, please? Stand still. Shower me with gold. Gold. Money, 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 money. Gold shower! <laughs> no. Make it rain. No, I don't want a gold shower. Too late. <laughs> I don't want a gold shower. You gotta go in the shower. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, I need some melon. I've got the melon. I'm going to make it glister. Glistering. Yeah, I made glistering melon. So we still need gold for these potions. Yeah, but it's a but bit much more. Less. Yeah, so it's like okay. basically one. You use nuggets, don't you? Yeah, yeah. one. one. So no. you use eight times less gold yeah. than golden apples. Yeah, and, and the potions are better. Golden apples do give you absorption as well, though, which is pretty nice. Yeah, who cares about that? Um, okay, right. so you asked We're going to need at least one each for the ender dragon, that's for sure. You asked for a masterclass in um, how to make me some potions. Make I you didn't, some potions. I just uh, what, asked you what ingredient, and now I know it's glistening melon. There we go, done. Okay. Jays. Oh, I was going to do it. You can, you, can, you can talk us through it, but I think nice. most people know how to make potions. Well, here's the thing, Duncan. We've recorded together for, what, like three years now? Yeah. You know, we've done The Apprentice, we've done Galacticroft, we've done Flux Buddies 1, 2, and 3, we've done Flux Baddies, we've done Cornerstone, mm -hmm. and in every single one of these series, you build these amazing, wonderful, fantastical things, and they're great, and you're really good at explaining it. Well, you're mostly good at explaining it, but you you get to explain it and all that, and I just run around in the background handing you, like, the scalpel and the cobblestone, and, you know, I'm the assistant. But, like... I feel like this is the one thing I can do. So I'm asking you, Duncan, please. <laughs> Go for it. I'm just, I'm just had this vivid memory of when we were doing the last Fox Buddies 2, and I tried to explain posters to you, and you just didn't give a shit. So go ahead. Explain something. I'm just hearing to the cold emptiness that's in my heart. <laughs> well, boys and girls, now that I have a chance to actually explain something in an actual Flux Buddy series... <laughs> wow. Kind of flux buddy series, you know. In a partnership with Duncan, <laughs> I actually have a chance to to do something and and perhaps teach those who don't know how to make potions. Well, he, to make a healing potion, uh, so you make some. Right, where are you, Duncan? Splash it in my face. Okay. Blip. Oh, full health. Oh, full health. Full health. Oh my it's god. It's been a while for health, but I. Right. We're back. You have that. <laughs> Is that healing too? Yeah. No, yeah, it's cool. Uh, have that. Have a splash potion. In fact, have a second healing one just because you're clumsy. <laughs> okay, so I will get Our on. Our healing has just been increased like tenfold. I know, we can now... Survive! This is, this is not an excuse for you to be wrecked. Yes, it is! No. Yeah, it is. Not. Full damage, here we go! No. Whee! No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Um, instantly, <laughs> if you ever have any like spare uh, glass bottles... Mm. Bring them back, please. Recycle them. Oh, yeah. That's the problem with splash ones. They, they, they explode. Smash it. Yeah. You, br you break them. Smash it right up, mate. Smash him. Do you want some more nether warts? Yes, please. I'll pop it in your chest. Any time you have any more, just pop it in there. There you go. There. Also, can you, like, not uh, meddle with my chest, please? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I've heard that> <laughs> <before>. <laughs> yeah, in the sexual harassment law case. <laughs> uh... Good times. Do you think you, we, you, you could have a restraining order over me and we could still record Minecraft if you did it from home? Um, I'd like to think if I have a restraining order on you, I would never want to work with you again, ever. No? Yeah, no. I can't think that having a restraining order on you would mean I'd want to actually interact with you ever again. But what if it was just so I couldn't get close? <laughs> You're not getting this, are you? <laughs> But if we do it for the fans, Kim, we could pretend that we're still friends. Depends how much money the fans are willing to give me. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what I'm doing right now. I'm pretending to be your friend for the fans. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah, Fuck funny. you. Because it's true. <sighs> You'd love to. What? Hmm? Get out. <laughs> Get out of town. I feel like you're going to follow a restraining order on me now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's restraining who? It's already, it's already in the works. So we need to get wait for my lawyer to get back and then BAM! No more Kim. Woo! <laughs> and that's children is the story of why Flux Buddies 4 is never happening. <laughs> the shed's nearly finished. Cool. So what's next? Well, I need to finish the shed. Oh. Shall I finish the shed? Do you wanna like what what bit of technology are we gonna do next? We can upgrade the jetpacks, that's what I think that's what we should work Okay. Towards. Well you, you you start working on that and I can finish the shed. Where's my shed? Okay, you finish the shed then. It's a man's job. 
You gonna shed? <laughs> what? No, no, nothing. <laughs> no. How many women do you know that have made sheds? Well, I'm currently repairing mine. It's different. Repairing's different. Uh, well, the whole roof's fallen in, so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm building a brand new one. Should have maintained it better. <laughs> no, well, it was broken when I moved oh. in to the prophecy. <laughs> like, yeah, the whole the whole thing had fallen in by the time I moved in. So, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Thanks, previous owners. <laughs> 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 Why? Uh, does sheds have pointy roofs? Uh, yeah. Cool. Does yours shed have a pointy yeah. roof? I thought like, some of them have like just corrugated eyes. Well, it depends. It depends. Yeah. Mine does not. Okay, you've got a posh shed. Mine's like a half greenhouse, half. Uh, oh, very posh shed. Half shed. Uh, yeah. 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 My shed's so posh. I don't know if it's posh. What are you gonna put in it? Lawnmowers. Um, no, uh, I'm going to put... Spades. Um, no. I'm going to grow uh. stuff in there. Because like, half of it is you green. You a greenhouse for that, love. Well, no, because half of it is a greenhouse. <laughs> You're not listening to me. <laughs> Typical man, not listening to me. <laughs> oh. I was listening. I just thought that was a funny joke. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, because it allowed me. It allowed me to further the joke by yes. by doing some reverse sexism, being like, "Typical man, you don't listen." So that 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 was the joke. That's that. sexist. That was the joke. You're sexist. You're, you're basic sex. sexist. You're, you're summing up all men into one group. So of... are you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by doing the whole like me man, me build stuff, me build shed, tiny woman. <laughs> <laughs> you won't know of Silly sheds woman, you can't do shit. With your tiny bird arms, get into the kitchen and make me a sandwich. Make me a potion. I do shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus, we have to stop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh well. Oh, well. The stereotypes for a reason. I've been growing things at home at the moment. I've been growing some herbs. Basil. Uh-huh. I like basil. And uh, time, which currently isn't doing particularly well, I must say. Uh, my ma- marjoram, yeah, uh, that 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 is doing great. The basil and the marjoram are, are like flourishing. Yeah, and growing chilies, that's that's flourishing. That's it grew too big though. It's like it's like three feet high, so it's like hitting <laughs> the ceiling. That's on the oh, shelf. Dear. Oh dear! <laughs> I didn't expect it to get so big. Yeah. Mint. I'm growing some mint. Oh, mint's easy. I was making grow. mojitos. Nice. So I've been I've been growing mint. I I started the, I basically started my herb garden because I wanted mint to make mojitos. <laughs> uh, but then I ended up growing others as well. Cool. Yeah, it's fun. I'm growing. Well, I told you this before, didn't I? I'm, I have a tub outside because I have a little balcony outside my mm. kitchen, and I'm growing. Uh, regular mint and uh, th- something called chocolate oh, mint. Oh yeah, that is that stuff tub. is delicious. And like it legit tastes like chocolate mint. It's so. I don't nice. know what witchcraft like you know genetically genetic that. But do you think it was genetically engineered or do you think it's just naturally? It was probably natural. I mean, where do you think arrows come from? So- someone eating a chocolate mint. Arrows, maybe. Yeah. Maybe they're like. You know what this mint tastes like? A bit chocolatey. What yeah. if we actually mix chocolate and mint? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good! Dun dun dun! Blah blah um, blah 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 blah. Yeah, and then uh, I've got a trug with uh, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Those are growing really like super well. Uh, and then yeah, just regular flowers and stuff. And then my vegetable patch has like kale that is great because. Like that kale has gone mad, so I just have fresh kale all the time. I'm not um, really a fan of kale. The thing is, it tastes so different to the stuff you get in shops. I like I like how it tastes. I just don't really like the kind of how tough it is. Mm. Just like boil but it up no, but time. that's the thing is like the stuff in shops is a little bit dried out and right. a little bit tasteless, whereas fresh kale is really soft and lovely. And I mm. I eat it raw a lot of the time, to be honest. Ugh. Well, it is just not. It's like it tastes. It's, it, it's nice. It like has the texture of like a, a, a lettuce leaf. It's quite soft. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a lot nicer than um, than the stuff you get in shops because that's all like dried out and tough and a bit. Bleh. Um, can you grow edamame in England? Uh, yeah, you can, but you probably need a. Well, actually, I don't know because um, broad beans um, grow outside. I hate so broad beans. I love them. Fresh broad beans. My are parents amazing. always grew them, and I just. Fresh broad beans, though, off the pod. No. Freaking great, like mate. Fresh peas, they're, they're amazing. Mm. Broad beans, no, they're horrible. 
Even fresh ones? Yeah. No, my parents really used like to throw loads, so I have fresh ones like all my life. I don't think I've even tasted a non-fresh one. <laughs> Alright, I'm running out of oak. I need some more oak logs. Uh, I got one. Oh, cool. Logs? Uh, wood planks. Yeah, yeah. I need logs. Right. How do you like the shed so far? It looks nice. That's a little shed -like. out shed. Yeah, it's good. It's a little Thanks. outhouse. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some gravel. Oh, I make it a path. Oh, cool. Yeah. Clever. It's my new thing in life. I like making paths. Paths do inc like make things look nicer. Yeah. That's a fact. Yeah. Fact. 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 Yes. Mm. Where am I going? This way. Federation against copyright theft. Fact. Fact. Oh, I just turned the yolk I got into planks. What it, well, noob. it's instinctual, isn't it? What noob. It's 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 almost an instinctual thing. Yeah. That you get some 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 like. When you break blocks, wood. do you get like? Can you see the sky through them? Uh yeah. Yeah cool. Just not sure it wasn't just me. <laughs> no, it's just you doing insane. I'm going crazy. Ah oh, well, I, oh God, we had that crazy like little adventure. Now we're just like super chill. That's great. Yeah, just I love chilling it. out in the garden. And now I feel like I, I can survive a lot easier because I've got potions. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack a lot less. The only thing yeah. is, is you need to keep on top of that. So like, if you're out and about taking danger. Oh yeah. I'm like... just now I don't have to like worry about getting eight gold to fix myself mm -hmm. by two by two hearts, which is just so expensive. Oh wait, one more, one more look. Rabble, rabble, rabble. So what does your shed look like then? So is it got how is it half greenhouse? Um, how does that work? So on the roof, on the slant of the roof, like right at the top at the kind of midway point, one half is uh like just lining, mm. uh and like a regular roof, and the other half is glass. Mm, so it's like half greenhouse. Yeah. So that half, and then like the walls on the green, uh, the glass side are greenhouse, and the walls on the roof, normal roof side are like solid walls with no windows. Cool. So yeah. So I'm hoping I can turn it into like a, you know, greenhouse slash food store and stuff. Because I was taking tips from my friend and he was saying that because um, he and his partner uh, like rent an orchard. And so they, they like make cider and, oh, no and, way. and stuff like that. Yeah. So they know a lot about kind of farming and growing stuff and all that. And he was saying like, because I'm growing potatoes this year. He was saying that if the gre if and when the greenhouse is fixed, you can actually just store those potatoes in that kind of environment. They'll be like nice and warm and dry mm. and they'll last like through the winter um, and stuff like that. And, and all the apples, because I've got apple trees as well. Yeah, you um, put them in crates, don't you, and cover them up. Yeah, yeah. so they'll just last too as well. So, because, um, yeah, because he came over because um, him and his girlfriend came to pick all the apples um, to take to their cider press. Um, so, yeah. Have you tried it? Uh, no, they haven't made it yet. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going uh, soon to go and help them because like, they're going to show me how to do it. And cool. also I think they just want someone else to do the hard manual major, labor. Major, this is Some of this is even finished, this growth. Yeah. Oh, crap. Okay, well, we've got like mega potions now. I know, right? Oh, I man. think we've got a big old success story going on here now. So we got potions. Uh, I don't think we're going to run out of potions anytime soon. Um, we got a lovely little nether wart uh, thing there. So I guess the next thing we need to do is, what, better jetpacks? Yes. And then, do you think that's it? We can we can head out? Let me start killing... In, I remember we should start killing... Um, Enderpearls? End, uh, ender, end, Enderpearls? End, killing Enderpearls? Like, kill. <laughs> from now on, if you ever see one, kill it. Let's start from killing now. all the Endermen. What we'll have to do is... Um, not, not sleep for every night, I yeah. guess. The th well, the thing is, I think we need to get more diamond to get better armor because Enderman hit you really hard. Okay, Like, yeah. really, really hard. Um, so I think, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to go mining for diamonds again. Um, now, the jetpacks, we can armor them up mm -hmm. to make them into armor jetpacks. Mm -hmm. I think we should. Um, now, if we get this one above this, because this one's it can have iron armor, but... Ideally, we'd go higher than that. So if we look up the jetpacks, let's see what's next. Because you can get some ones that give you crazy good armor. Like, yeah, we're never gonna we we won't, we, 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 we won't get to Enderium because that needs Ender pearls. Yeah, and we're just not gonna have enough. Yeah, um, but we could do the one before that, which is reinforced jetpack, which mm -hmm. is so at the moment we've got leadstone. Next is hardened, and then reinforced. Right now, the armor for the reinforced. Is uh oh yeah? I think you can just maybe you can add any armor to any jetpack. I'm not really sure. There's bronze, invar, 
and Enderium after this. So I guess Invar is the best that we can make. Yeah, so we can add Invar to Reinforced Jetpack. Mm -hmm. And it will make it armoured. And it should be, like, super strong. Yeah. Because, like, in One Life, when mm. uh, I had Diamond Armour, um, and when I got hit by an Enderman, it, it smacked me for, like, four hearts. <sighs> Shit. It hurts. Ow. Yeah, it, it really hurt. Really hurt my feelings as iron, well. Uh, so we need iron and bronze... Iron armor is just made from iron and tin. Mm -hmm. and then to make bronze armor, you add bronze to that. And then to make invar, you add invar to that. So we can get the invar plating. Okay. Now, the next jetpack is an invar jetpack. So we need a lot of invar. Now, invar is made from um, invar blend, which is pulverized ferrous and pulverized iron. So actually not too bad. You just need iron, really. And we can get, I think, because you can get ferrous from iron when you pulverize it. Okay. Um, it's quite rare, but occasionally you can. And also, we've got we've got a few ferrous already, mm -hmm. so we're not super poor. We've got nine invar as well, so I think we can actually do this fairly soon, which is kind of cool. Yay! Yay! So I think we're in a very good place to to stop now because we've kind of yeah, this it's like a good a yeah good bookend yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I think we got we got this in hand. Yeah. Um, we did a good job today. Yeah, high, high good, five. Good job, team. I'd high five you, but I fear smacking you in the face and doing damage to you. Uh, don't do it. Well, we can heal ourselves now, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, but I mean, it's not. It doesn't, it doesn't it's, matter. It's, it's, it's still resilient. You can high five me in real life after we finished. Okay. 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 Uh, well, uh, everyone, uh, imagine by the way that yeah. that high five is going to be like one of those slow mo like. Ba, yeah. Ba, 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 ba. yeah. And there's some amazing music playing ba, in the background. Ba, 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 yeah. ba, 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 Do you want to turn around and, and say goodbye? Uh, all right. Bye, everyone. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.